Mm -hmm. Hi, my name's Megan. I'll be your nurse practitioner today. Hi, I'm Greg. Hi, Greg. What brings you in today? I'm here for a physical. A physical. All right. I'm just going to get started with some hand hygiene here. Okay. Um, any pain today? No. Feeling good. Feeling good. All right. And how did you get here today? I drove. You drove. So you're able to find the place. And do you happen to know today's date? Today is January 10th, 2021. Perfect. So he appears to be alert and oriented. And this patient looks to be about mid-20s. And he's got appropriate posture, good hygiene. His body habitus is of a normal athletic build. Um, he appears to be uh, appropriate in his uh, cognition. He appears to have uh, good speech at this time as he's able to talk to me. Um, and I don't see any acute distress, um, no pain at this time. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the head. Uh, just on examination, I can see that it's symmetrical. Um, I don't see any uh, lumps or lesions. Your skin color appears normal for your ethnicity as well as your uh, sexual development appears appropriate for your age. Um, the hairline, it looks good and symmetric. I don't see any lumps or lesions. I'm going to go ahead and palpate that scalp if that's all right. Okay. All right. So on palpation here, I can tell the patient has a, a full head of hair. It's symmetrical throughout. There's no lice. There's no swelling. There's no lumps. I'm going to go ahead and palpate your temporal arteries here. And those feel appropriate. And if you could just move your jaw around for me, forward and back. All right. Open your mouth. Perfect, just assessing for TMJ. I don't feel any crepitus. Um, and while we're here, if you could just puff up your cheeks for me. I'm gonna assess that cranial nerve five and smile and frown and stick out your tongue. We'll do cranial nerve nine, why not? I'm gonna go ahead and test sensation on your face. Um, so I'm gonna be using this Q-tip. If you could just tell me the location of it, left cheek, right cheek, forehead, all that. Okay. Um, go ahead and close your eyes, perfect. Forehead. Cheek. Other cheek. Other cheek. Chin. All right, so cranial nerve seven appears to be intact as well. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the neck. Um, we'll do range of motion later on with musculoskeletal, but if you could just do a couple good swallows for me. All right, the trachea appears midline. He's able to swallow. I'm going to go ahead and test your uh, trapezius. If you could shrug your shoulders up against resistance, perfect. I'm going to be palpating your lymph nodes here, starting with the preauricular, postauricular, there we go, preauricular, postauricular, tonsillar, submandibular, submental, occipital, superficial cervical, posterior cervical, and supraclavicular. All right, I don't feel any uh, swelling with any of those tonsils. Any tenderness in any of those points? No. All right, so I'll move on from the neck. I'm going to come back to um, your eyes. We'll start there first. I'm going to start with the uh, Snellen test. So I'll have you stand here. Okay. And if you could look at the line that you can read the furthest away, I'll have you close one eye at a time okay. and read off that bottom line you can read. Bottom line, D-E-F-P-O-T-E-C. Perfect. And if you could close the other eye. D-E-F-P-O-T-E-C. Perfect. All right. So this patient appears to have 20-20 vision. I'll have you go ahead and look at the E for a moment. Okay. And then look at my finger. Okay. So the patient has good accommodation. You can go ahead and have a seat. I'm going to be testing your extraocular eye movements with this pen. So if you could just look at the tip of my pen here and follow it with your eyes. Perfect. There's no nystagmus or strabismus. I don't see any lid lag on this patient. Perfect. All right. Go ahead and look straight forward. The pupillary light reflex is appropriate. Perfect. And then go ahead and look at my finger here. All right. And the corneal right light reflex is appropriate as well. Um, so just on inspection here, I can tell that the patient doesn't have any exudate coming from the eyes. Um, the brows do not appear to have um, any lumps or lesions. I'm going to go ahead and palpate. There's no, the uh, brows appear symmetrical. The eyes appear symmetrical in the epicanthal folds. Um, the sclera is white. The limbal margins are clear. Um, it looks like the bulbar and the palpebral, open your eyes, perfect. Um, are, those are pink and moist and clear as well. I'm going to be palpating your lactamol puncti. I don't see any exudate, um, but let's see. I'll 
start with the puncti and close your eyes for me. I'll do the lacrimal apparatus. Um, no swelling there either. Um, so the eyes appear to be clean and appropriate. Gonna move on to your nose at this time. I'm gonna have you test um, your olfactory cranial nerve one um, by smell. So if you could just smell what I have here for you and tell me what you smell. Peppermint. Perfect, all right, so cranial nerve one is intact. And go ahead and close one nostril at a time and take a quick breath in for me. Perfect. The nose appears symmetrical, I don't see any lesions. I'm just gonna go ahead and look at the septum and the mucosa with my pen light, so please look at the ceiling. All right, the septum is intact, um, the mucosa is intact, there's no drainage at this time. Um, so I'll move on to your ears. Um, the ears are symmetrical from the outer canthus of the eyes. I don't see any lumps or lesions. I'm just gonna go ahead and palpate the tragus and the oracle. And I'll be doing a whisper test to test your hearing. So I'm just gonna have you close um, this ear with your hand, just cover it up, and I'll be whispering a few words if you could repeat those back. Mm -hmm. A, B, C. A, B, C. Perfect, and then the other ear. One, two, three. Perfect. All right. So the patient has good hearing. Um, there's no issues with the ears at this time. I'm going to move on to the mouth. Um, if you could go ahead and open your mouth up for me, I can tell the uh, lips appear pink, moist, and intact. Tongue is pink, moist, and intact. He has all of his teeth. The buccal mucosa is pink and moist. Go ahead and lift your tongue. Uh, Wharton and Stenson's ducts do not have any swelling or exudate. You can put your tongue down, please. I'm going to go ahead and use my um, tongue depressor, a.k.a. spoon. Uh, so if you could say, ah. Uh, All right, the uvula rises appropriately. The soft and hard palate are intact, and the tonsils are not swollen. If you could just push left and right on the spoon, perfect. Just testing the strength of your tongue. All right, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, so everything in the mouth looks good. Um, and we've tested that swallow reflex when I was looking at your neck earlier, so it appears to have no um, issues there. So at this point, I'm going to move on to your um, abdomen. If you could just uh, take your shirt off for me. Okay. All right. So just on immediate inspection of the thorax, um, the skin is clear. There's no lesions. Um, the diameter is appropriate anterior posterior, or anterior posterior to transverse. Um, he's got a normal sized chest. There's no barrel chesting. Um, I don't see any excursion or any uh, retractions. He's not taking any additional efforts to breathe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and first I'll feel, um, go ahead and take a deep breath. I feel normal expansion of the chest and that's appropriate. And then if you could just turn around and Put your knees over here for me. I'm going to listen to your back after I do some percussion. All right. So just on immediate inspection of the back, I noticed there's no um, swelling. There's a couple scratches here, but no other lesions that I can tell. I'm going to palpate down the spine here. Let me know if you feel any uh, pain or tenderness. No pain or tenderness. Um, appears to have a, a straight spine here, and I'm going to check the costal angle. Any pain there? No. Yeah. I'm going to do some percussion. Any pain? All right, so no pain in the costal angle. I'm just going to do some percussion of your lungs. And I'm hearing resonance throughout. And will you lift your right arm for me? I'll go through that right middle lobe. Perfect. I hear resonance throughout the lung field. You can put that down. Just going to take a quick listen here. If you could take some deep breaths for me. All right. Starting with the apices. I'm hearing vesicular sounds throughout. Put paraspinus. There's no wheezing. I'll do subscapular. Perfect. No adventitious sounds noted. Lateral and right middle lobe. Perfect. So vesicular sounds throughout, no adventitious sounds. I'll have you swing your legs towards me. I'm just going to assess uh, the lungs in the front. A couple more deep breaths. Perfect. Good vesicular sounds. The lungs sound clear. Great. 
All right, thank you very much. Um, at this point, I'm going to move on to assess uh, cardiovascular. So if you could just go ahead and lie down for me. Um, so using tangential light here, I'm just going to assess the precordium and the PMI for any bounds, heaves, and lifts, um, which I do not see. I'm just going to palpate here for any bounds, heaves, and lifts. And I do not feel any. I'm going to go ahead and assess your carotid pulses here. Your good pulses. And then I'll go ahead and palpate the five cardiac landmarks, aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, mitral, and tricuspid. All right, so using my bell, I'm just going to assess the carotid for any murmurs or brewies, specifically brewies here in the carotid. All right, no brewies noted. And while I have the bell, I'll assess for any murmurs in these five cardiac landmarks. I don't hear any murmurs. All right. I'll switch over to my diaphragm here just to assess the heartbeat. I'm hearing normal S1, S2. No skipped beats. All right, perfect. And while I have you laying here, I'm just going to go through and assess all of your peripheral pulses. We did the temporal and the carotid. Next, I'll go to the brachial. Good, I'm getting plus two pulses. Radial, plus two as well. And I'll assess capillary refill. Capillary refill is immediate. It's got good perfusion to the hands. We'll go ahead and assess the popliteal pulse. Again, plus two. Just noting the legs here, there's no edema. He's got a normal hair distribution pattern. Um, no swelling, no redness that I can see. Assessing the uh, posterior tibial and the dorsalis pedis. He's got good pulses down here, plus two. And again, good cap refill in the toes and no issues there. So you can go ahead, or actually have, I'll have you stay lying there for a moment, I'm just going to assess your abdomen. Um, so again, I don't see any um, bounds or heaves. I'm looking at the uh, aorta here, and that seems all right. The skin of the abdomen doesn't appear to have any lumps or lesions. There's no hernias that I can see at this time. I'm going to go ahead and auscultate. Um, first, I'll auscultate that abdominal aorta with my bell to hear any brewies. Okay, and then I'll switch to the diaphragm to assess bowel sounds. I'm hearing normal active bowel sounds throughout. Perfect. I'm just going to do some palpation of the abdomen. Let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness while I'm doing this. Okay. I'm first going to start with light palpation just to see if there's any... Uh, bumps, and I'm not feeling any. All right, and then I'm going to go on to deeper palpation. Any pain? No. All right. Um, here's good. I'm just going to assess your spleen really quick, see if I can feel it. Take a deep breath. All right, I don't feel it there, and that's good. And then I'll assess your liver on this side, so go ahead and take a deep breath in for me. All right. Perfect. So both appear um, intact. There's no organ splenomegaly, um, no enlarged liver at this time. So that's a good sign. I'll have you go ahead and sit back up again. You can bring your legs over. Um, so at this point, we're going to do some range of motion. So I'm going to kind of hold on to your joints and have you push against resistance. We'll go through head to toe all of your um, joints here. So go ahead and push against my hand for the neck and the other side. Perfect. Push forward. All right, and backwards. All right, great range of motion in the neck. Um, go ahead and put your arms out for me, and I'll have you do some arm circles. All right, good range of motion in the shoulders. 
And then put your hands out straight in front of you. Um, and then if you could just bend your elbows for me in like this position, I'll have you pull against me. Perfect, and push against me. Great, and then if you could grab onto my hands and grip them, nice good squeeze there. All right, he's got strong, strong good grips. And while I'm here, I'm noting in the hands, there's no uh, swelling, no redness in any of the joints. Um, it looks like all of the joints are normal. I don't see any deformities here. All right, perfect. And then we'll move on. Um, I'll go to the hips next, but first I'm gonna uh, just assess your feet. Um, so if you could just do a few little ankle circles for me and then pull up against my feet, push against my feet, or um, uh, my hands, <laughs> your feet, my hands. All right, go ahead and lay down. I'm just gonna assess your hips real quick. All right, so I'll have you bring one knee up. All right, I'm just gonna rotate through any pain. No. All right, over and then down, next leg. All right, good range of motion in the hips. And in the knees, I'm just gonna, while I'm here, assess those knees. All right, and I'll do one more over here. I'm assessing the knees. I don't feel any crepitus in any of these joints. Um, there's no swelling, there's no redness. You can go ahead and sit back up for me. And at this time, I'm just gonna test um, your cerebral function. So I'll have you stand up and just walk from this point over here over towards the eye chart. And you can just do a normal walk. He's got good gait, um, appears to have good balance. Go ahead and turn around and just do a tandem walk for me, uh, toes to heels. Perfect, just testing that balance. Great, that appears to be intact. All right, you can go ahead and have a seat for me. You've passed that test. So I'm just gonna name a few words and then I'll have you repeat them back to me after we go through a few other things just to test your memory. Um, so the three words I want you to remember are pink, dog, tennis. Pink dog tennis. Pink dog tennis. Okay, so if you could just remember those few words. I'm just going to ask you a couple other questions, do a few more things. Okay. So far, the patient appears to have good speech, good memory. Um, I'll have you put out your hand for me. I'm going to uh, test your graphesthesia. Uh, so I'm going to write a letter in your hand. If you could close your eyes and tell me what letter you, you feel. A. Perfect. So graphesthesia is intact. I'm going to then test um, your senses on your lower limbs and your arms. So close your eyes, and I want you to tell me if you feel sharp or a dull sensation and where you feel it. Okay. Sharp. Sure. Well, maybe I should have used a cotton ball, but we'll try again. Let me just get my cotton a little bit more <laughs> cottony for you. There we go. All right. And go ahead and close your eyes. I'll start in a new spot. Okay, dull. Yeah, I got that cotton all puffed up for you. And where are you feeling these? That's in my forearm sharp. Sharp. In my calf sharp. Other calf dull. Other foot dull. Perfect. All right, so sensation appears to be intact. I'm just gonna go ahead and test your reflexes here, starting with the brachial. All right, go ahead and rest your arm down, perfect. 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 And then if you could just sit all the way back so your feet are kind of hanging off, perfect. I'm gonna assess these deep tendon reflexes here. Perfect. All right, so the patient has good reflexes. Um, and so far throughout this exam, the patient has appeared to have a normal thought process. Um, all the cranial nerves have been intact. Do you remember those three words I told you earlier? Yeah, pink dog tennis. Perfect, so memory is also good. Um, I would say this patient has passed this exam with flying colors and is in a great state of health. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>